Are you going to charge Kai Sinet? Yes. So Kai Sinet actually just got charged for inciting a riot when one of his fan meetups in New York went terribly wrong. Let's get right into the story. So if you haven't been keeping up with the news about Kai Sinet over the last couple days, we're going to break it down in this entire video. So over the last couple weeks, Kai Sinet has been streaming and promoting how he and his fans were going to meet up in New York, I think Union Square, and they were going to do a giveaway where Kai Sinet would be giving away PCs and play PlayStation 5s apparently you know so obviously a lot of things people want and he was streaming it and he was telling it to his fans of tens of thousands of people watching each of his streams now unfortunately Kai Sinet actually did this without the city's permission so they didn't have enough time to plan or do anything in preparation for Kai Sinet being there and bringing you know possibly thousands and thousands of fans and so when Kai Sinet finally decided to do the giveaway in New York literally thousands of his fans showed up and it went crazy almost immediately since there were so many people there it, it broke into a riot very soon after the giveaway actually started Kai Sinet's fans that came for the giveaway were jumping on cars they were breaking car windows they were going and ransacking businesses and even assaulting people it got very violent very soon and obviously this wasn't Kai Sinet's you know intention but you know it turned into a riot and he's got to take responsibility for that for not taking the proper precautions because I mean we've seen this thing happen a lot of times in the past when these big influencers decide to make an event and they don't think that many people will show up and then when like tens of thousands of people show up then it becomes a really big problem so I really wish there was someone there to tell Kai Sinet about these previous interactions or you know you think he'd know about stuff like this before and so maybe there could have been some pre-planning so this wouldn't have turned out to be such a catastrophe but actually after all of these problems came in the NYPD finally came in to break up the riot and actually arrested Kai Sinet. <laughs> And it actually came out that the NYPD is planning on charging Kai Sinet with inciting a riot. Are you going to charge Kai Sinet? Yes. The, the influence is charged. He's going to be charged with uh, uh, multiple counts, uh, at least two counts of um, inciting a riot, unlawful assembly. And a, and a few other charges these are some very serious charges that can not only give him jail time but also have major fines up to hundreds of thousands of dollars just for this one major fuck up only 18 percent of the people watching this video right now are actually subscribed to the channel don't be part of the 81 percent subscribe to the channel you have nothing to lose now obviously i'm gonna give kai Sinet a little bit of props here because obviously he did something really wrong but in the moment when he started to realize things were going pretty bad he did the very right thing you know he didn't immediately run away actually there's a video clip of him going up to one of his fans during this the start of the riot that was struggling to breathe and he actually sat down and tried to calm his fan down and try to help him work through it because he knew the fan had breathing problems so props for him for not just running away even when it started to get bad When the rioting really started to break out, some of Kai Sinet's fans were actually being super crazy. When Kai Sinet actually went to drive away, he got into his SUV that he came in, and a bunch of his fans actually started to get on the car, which is actually insane. And I can't play the video clip because, you know, YouTube might consider it graphic. But when they started driving away, actually some of his fans that were hanging onto the car fell off. So it got very violent very soon. This whole mix-up was honestly insane, and it came up with some of the worst takes I've ever seen from the internet the political streamer Hassan which we're actually gonna make an entire video breakdown about why he's had the most terrible takes on this situation yeah talking about three dollars worth of fucking Doritos you know there was a bank run or some shit and probably the next video we upload on this channel so make sure you subscribe for that but yeah there was a bunch of people in particular Hassan pretty much saying that 
Kai Sinet had no responsibility for this when he 100% did. Now, obviously, he Kai Sinet didn't intend for this to break into a riot. Now, unfortunately, his fans made it a riot, and I don't think he could have controlled that, regardless of what he said. <laughs> However, he definitely didn't get the proper precautions to make sure this would have been a safe event. You know, he didn't clear with the city. He didn't make sure there was enough, you know, police officers there to monitor and control, you know, tens of thousands of people potentially being in the area. And it led to a lot of terrible things. Why did they do dip like this? particular we saw this one news story break out with this man in his 60s that owned a like f local food vendor shop you know just one of those things you see in new york where they you know they'll sell f hot dogs and chips i mean this guy's like in his 60s and he's working at one of these you know food vendors in the middle of the street you know standing on his feet all day i mean this guy's having probably not the best time in his life and some of kaisenet's fans or people that were there for the event actually came and they stole a bunch of uh, products from him and they actually assaulted him it looks like in the video I can't play it again because YouTube might take it down for graphic violence but it looks like someone uh, one of the rioters actually appeared to have hit him in the head and so he could take a couple bags of chips I mean these people are honestly terrible and I really wish that Kai Sinet would have you know talked with the city tried to organize something so that it wouldn't have went so wrong you know the racist angle just doesn't fit here that's what Hassan was saying at least you know they treat they were treating these riders bad because they're black and it's like no Hassan they're treating them bad because they're riding you know what I mean these people regardless of race you know they're going and they're hurting people and they're breaking shops and a lot of damage was actually caused some people are even saying within the hundreds of thousands of dollars in damages which I completely believe because they were ransacking stores you know these big stores they were breaking people's cars and I could and with all the extra police that had to be called in they could easily be sending a bill to Kaisenet for within the hundreds of thousands of dollars. I mean, this was no small thing. And so, yeah, of course, the NYPD is treating rioters bad. And honestly, I think they should. I mean, these people, you know, they go for this silly little fan meetup with Kaisenet and then they turn around and start breaking people's cars and hitting people on the head. It's just this is not appropriate reactions. And I'm honestly really disappointed for, you know, I don't know if this was completely the Twitch community, but I mean, this is not a good look for Kai. This is not a good look for Twitch. And I, it's honestly even worse look for Twitch because all of the streamers and big content creators that are actually defending Kai Sinet and saying that he had no responsibility in this when he obviously did. Kai Sinet could have easily prevented this and it just it's unfortunate that maybe he didn't think this event would be that big you know maybe he thought like a couple hundred people would show up but when he when Kai Sinet is promoting to a stream of you know 50 to 100 thousand people days in advance that hey come here in New York and you have a chance to win you know a PS5 or like a new PC obviously thousands of people are showing up and I really wish someone would have told him that this was not a good idea and this could have went bad especially because we have seen this kind of situation in the past i think in particular of events like tanacon where people were standing out i know that happened like almost a decade ago but i remember people were standing outside and getting heat stroke because not proper 
precautions were taken as well as i remember a lot of the youtube con is it called i don't exactly know the youtuber event where a bunch of influencers get together it's kind of like twitchcon but for youtubers i don't remember vidcon is it something like that we've seen many times in the past where influencers major major influencers like logan paul they don't coordinate with the event or security and then they try to do a fan meetup and it goes really violent and it turns out really bad so this event has definitely had has happened in the past and i really wish someone would have you know told kaizenet that hey this isn't a good idea we should do something else or at least try to coordinate with the city before something turns bad but it, it turns out it went super terrible and i really hope influencers in the future try to learn from this but honestly who knows so are the charges against kai really going to stick we're not exactly sure but if there's any update on the situation i'm gonna make sure to make an update video and but that's just my thoughts you can let me know your thoughts down in the comments in our last video we made a video about boogie 2988 and his new very young girlfriend and it's honestly kind of creepy this is a video you're not going to want to miss click here to watch it now